I want to talk with you today about Thanksgiving. The most natural tendency of us is to complain, to complain about everything. Here where I live, if someone says, oh, the weather's so nice, someone will say, yeah, but wait a few minutes and watch what happens because we get a lot of change here. And the Bible, Thanksgiving is very important, important to God. And the primary verse that I use on this is Psalm 51, 23. It says, He who offers the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me and opens the way that I may show him the salvation of the Lord. God wants us in partnership with him, and the way we join him is by giving thanks in and for everything. That means for things that we like and things we don't like. That means we do it when we're feeling bad and we're feeling good. Because whatever God brings, he has brought into our lives for good. Now, uh, it's easy to offer thanksgiving when things go well. When you're healthy, when you have food, when you sleep well, when you have good relationships. And that requires no faith whatsoever. But when you give thanks for things you don't like, for things that are disturbing, like a broken relationship or a big mistake you make or something you lost, that's 100% faith because you haven't seen the outcome yet. And as Hebrew says, we can only please God through faith. So to offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving is honoring him. And it also is raising the shield of faith against the fiery darts of Satan. When we um, offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving, we're declaring, my God is good. He has a plan. He's going to work things out for me. I can trust him. But when we complain, we're saying, God really doesn't know what he's doing. I've got to jump in here and help him. He's not getting things right. But to offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving then opens the way for him to show us the salvation of the Lord. When we complain, we close the door to his help. When we give thanks, we open the door to it. Now this whole concept is reflected in 2 Corinthians 12, 9 and 10, where God says to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So Paul says, Therefore, I will rejoice all the more greatly in my weakness so that the power of Christ may rest on me. So in his difficulty, when he offered thanksgiving, then um, the power of Christ came into his life and rested on him. Now, uh, it is very unnatural to do this. And we must not confuse giving thanks with being thankful or feeling thankful. That's an emotion. Giving thanks is an act of the will, and we can do that anytime, anywhere, any circumstance. Uh, I was talking today to a fellow neighbor here whose mother is dying, and he was having a hard time with that. And I, he's a believer, she's a believer. I said, you need to let go of your mother and thank God for what he's gonna do with her and thank him that he's gonna help you move through this difficult time. And he accepted that advice and said it was very helpful. So I encourage you to begin practicing offering thanksgiving for whatever comes to you, whether it be to lose your keys or to have an accident or to become sick or to have a broken relationship or to lose your job. In each of these situations, God has a plan. He knows the answer. And he is very willing to, to um, provide the answer for you as you wait for him. So, offer the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Psalm 50, 23. He who offers the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors God and opens the way so that God can show him his salvation. Take care.